Good afternoon everybody. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at Resurrection Remix on the OnePlus 5. So I have here Resurrection Remix running on the OnePlus 5. As of the time of this recording, this is Resurrection Remix version 5.8.4-2017-0811 and this is for the OnePlus aka device name Cheeseburger. OnePlus A5000 Android version is 7.1.2 and the security patch level is August 5th, 2017 and then your baseband and kernel version are also August 11th. So this is, like I said, on the OnePlus 5, um, I took stock Oxygen OS off and we rooted and flashed the custom ROM onto the device using TWRP. So far I'm very happy with the custom ROM. We are using Nova Launcher right now. Um, the two stock launchers that, that Resurrection Remix comes with are Pixel Launcher and Google Home or Google Now Launcher and I just didn't like the Google bar at the top, the search bar or the little Google pill at the top. You can't turn those off. So I did install Nova Launcher to have a uh, clean home screen. The background is one of the defaults that comes with the um, I think Google Now Launchers where the background came from. It comes on the device already. Um, so mostly on this ROM you have pretty much unlimited customization you have all your regular settings right here, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your SIM card settings, the standard Android, you know, NuGet stuff like that. Um, you have display settings for like your wallpaper, your nightlight, uh, rotation settings, live display, adaptive brightness, heads up. There is an ambient display with tilt sensor. It does add a hand wave feature and a pocket feature so it will pulse notifications on removal from your pocket. Some of those are not on standard Oxygen OS. Um, you have all your standard settings like that, your battery, your memory management. There are um, There is support for more gestures, so you can also create your own gestures. And um, there are um, extra options for gestures that you don't get in stock Oxygen OS. There are settings for the slider over here, so you can actually use it for ringer, rotation, brightness, flashlight, or notifications. I have it set to ringer, so it is ring, vibrate, and silent. If you do flashlight, the middle would be the off position. You can actually customize that. Um, so let's see, if I turn to flashlight, the flashlight's going to turn on because it's in the up position. So top position on, middle position off, bottom position you can set it to blink. So that's pretty cool. And then like you can see here, normal, vibrate, silent are the settings for that. So you get a lot of customization for control over the physical buttons on the device. This will vary based on the device you're using. Um, the ROM is different for each device. I will link you to the Resurrection Remix site where you can find the downloads for each different device they support. This configuration page right here is part of Resurrection Remix. This is your page where you can pretty much go to customize anything from like your notification drawer, power dialog, volume panel, task manager, uh, you can do different status bar customizations. You can put the Resurrection Remix up there. You can put the weather up there, network uh, traffic, carrier label, status bar gestures, everything on the status bar you can customize to your liking. You have different things you can do with recents. So you can do grid, stock, ASO, stock OSAP. It's going to have to restart the system uh, UI to do that. There's different lock screen settings for security. Um, you can show your battery charge your milliamps, your voltage, and your battery temperature while it's charging on the lock screen. Here are uh, gestures anywhere. So you can enable that and you would be able to use gestures anywhere on the phone. Different interface customizations. You can set a custom LCD uh, pixel density. Display size, which is it basically just changes the pixel density to predetermined values. Um, so those two are the same. Font size, expanded desktop, fingerprint settings. Um, dashboard input options, heads up options for heads up notifications, um, peaking notification time, uh, force heads up for dialer, and then you can toggle it for uh, for every app or you can do settings per app, which is really nice. Notifications also have different levels of importance. 
So if you go to notifications here and you choose an app, um, you can have it set. The app determines uh, notification importance, or you can turn it off, and you can set different levels, which is very customizable. Um, there are, I think, six different levels you can choose for how often you get notifications, what kind of notifications you get. Um, there's an option for if you swipe up from a peaking notification, that it will stop those notifications for a minute or a set, you know, time you set. So if you get a bunch of text or something, you can swipe up on it, and it won't keep dropping in text while you're trying to do something on your device, which is a really neat feature. The home screen's super clean. It's super smooth like you'd expect on the OnePlus. This is the 8 gigabyte uh, RAM model, 128 8 gigabytes of RAM. So it is super smooth. There's no lag. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. No bugs that I've noticed. Um, it runs, like I said, super smooth. Um, running Nova Launcher, as I said, so I have all the Nova Launcher features. You can do Google Home, Pixel Launcher, whatever you want. Um, I did install the full G app, so it's just like regular Android. You have all your G apps, the Google Store, Gmail, YouTube, uh, Google Plus, Hangouts, all that kind of stuff is there. Check out, this is Resurrection Remix. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe down below. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below, and I will try to help you out the best I can.